sun's gone past the yard arm, so it's time for another fable from Fartwell. Yes, cheers everybody. Well, what have we got for you today? We've got one of these things. This, this is a, a nail gun. Yes, nail gun. And it belongs to uh, Ben the Builder. Ben the Builder. And he, he lends this gun to a Lord Fartwell. Yes, we're in Fartwell Manor, you see. And he's lent it to Lord Fartwell. And Lord Fartwell has has uh, has messed it up. It doesn't work so well. So I've read I've read these uh, Paslo instructions, you see. And I thought I'd show you how to fix the old, fix the old thing, you see. So if you've got problems with your nail gun, carry on watching. Carry on watching, you see. So, so it sort of misfires. It fires sometimes and it doesn't fire other times. You've got, got to make sure you've got the green light on, you've got a full battery. That's how I get it. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, there you go. See, it's not working. Uh, no, uh, no. Pull in the trigger. It's not stopped banging. It's stopped banging, and that's what it's done. So, basically, we're going to have to try and fix it. And I'll show you how. So, Take the battery out, take the battery out, you see? Take the bullets out, take the bullets out. And, um, and then basically what you've got to do, what you've got to do, we take the, take the gas out, take the gas out. So basically what you have to do is undo these four screws, you see, and take the top off, right? So let's do that first, right? Now, the reason why Lord Fartwell uses Ben the Builder's gun is because um, it's pheasant shooting season, you see. That's what it is. And um, and uh, Lord Fartwell, he, he, goes, he does go shooting pheasants. And um, obviously he doesn't shoot, fe well, he does shoot pheasants with this gun and that's probably why it's messed up. But um, usually the people that come to Fartwell and shoot pheasants, they have the old smoky stick, you know, the old 12 boy, you see, and they, they go around blasting away at the old pheasants. And, um, and these days, of course, with all their vegetarians and vegans and stuff, nobody wants to eat the pheasants. So it's a bit of a problem what to do with them, you see. So Lord Fartwell, he's come up with this bit of a wheeze. And what he does, he basically, he goes around and picks all the, because they, they bl basically blast these pheasants to pieces, these people. And um, so what he does, he's come up with this wheeze um, of, of nailing them all back together and um, put a bit of pheasant restorer on them and... Um, and sort of drying them off a bit with a hairdryer and stuff and then bringing them back to life and, and they're good good to go for another year you see another another shooting season so so it's recycling pheasants you see that's what it is so we've taken the top off taken the top off, and now if you have a look at this i don't know if you can see this there you see but you've got to take these you've got some wires you've got some wires coming out of here and this big this big the red one with a big round bit on that's your old spark plug and you've got to Give it a bit of a tug and a, and a pull, and it comes off, you see, there you go. You see that, there you go. And then you've got the other one, the other one, it just slides out, just slide out like that, you see that? There we go, there we go, can you see that? There we go, you see, there's wire there. And then, once you've done that, what do you do next? You've got to pull the wires, pull the wires out, out of the actual, this bit here, pull the wires out there. So they're actually back into where the gas would go somewhere, and then you've got to turn, turn the old, um, turn the old unit, sort of like, a, sort of quarter of a turn, and then you can pull it out. You see, pull it out, and and you've got the fan and the unit, and you've got the the inside there. Right. So I've actually cleaned this one up, and I've done a bit of videoing earlier of how to clean it. So I'll just show you a bit of that, and. Um, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but you've got a lot of, I've, I've cleaned the t some of the top of the fan off and inside here, I don't know, let's see if we can get the camera on that. In here, it's, it's all gungy, look, it's just all. So you need to get all that off, look at that. Get, a, get yourself a small, small paintbrush. Get in there and get all the bits off. So we're gonna clean all that up. So once you've got it cleaned up, once you've got it cleaned up, now I'll just show you this. If you if you connect the wires back up, connect your wires back up without putting the, the unit back in. So we're going to put the, the fan wire back in. And we're going to put the 
put the spark plug in the back in. So we've actually we've connected it up, but we haven't actually put it back in place. Put your battery back in. Put your battery back in. This one. So, and what we're doing is see see if it's, the fan's working. Okay. So if you pull the trigger, look at that. See. The fan's working, you see. Now, but this bit here, let's get in a close, get a close up of this. Get a Wow, there we go. Where are we? So, this bit here, yeah, where are we? Can you see that? This bit here is where this should be sparking, you see. And it's no spark, right? And you think, well, why the, you know, obviously the spark plug's knackered. But it isn't. It probably isn't. So what you do, what you've got to do, you've got to get some ammunition. Get some of your ammunition and put it in the gun. Put, put your ammo in the gun. Like so. There we go. Load the gun up. There we go. So just hit that loaded up. So. And then, hopefully if I've got it loaded, and then, oh, oh no, what you do, what you got to do, what you got to do, so you've got your ammo in the gun, you've got to press it down, like so, and then pull the trigger, and it's still not working. Come on, wash your fingers. I obviously haven't got the old, uh, it's obviously not loaded up right. See if I can find a bit more, a bit more ammo in the box. I've got, I've got, I've got some longer nails. Right. Right. So there we go. Now. There you are. So what you do, you push it down like that. You make sure that the metal is connected to the metal. If it's, and if it's the metal is connected to the metal, I don't know if you can see the spark. You've got to depress it and put the metal to the metal. See that? There we go. One more spark for good luck. There we go. So basically, we know we've got a we've got the uh, the fan works and the, and it's sparking. Okay, the fan works, it's sparking. The other thing, the other thing you've got to watch, you've got to watch about these things, is. Is, I don't know if I can show you this. Right. right, round the top here, round the top, you've got these two rings. You see, you've got these two rings. And you, what you've got, you've got a, there, there's a split. There's a split there, you see. And you don't want, sometimes when you've been firing for a long time, these, these rings will move. And if the two splits line up, it won't, it'll let the gas out. So make sure that you're about 90 degrees away from each, each, each split is, is the opposite side. So there's another tip for you. Now, got that far. Um, oil it up, get some oil, get the old, um, they supply the oil, wherever it's gone. Yes, yeah, the old Paslo oil. Yeah, put, put a load around, that, around the rim there. Put some inside there. Um, the other thing is, let's just show you this. If you take un unclip your let's just take your nails out take the nails out take the battery out right you can undo this you see if you've got any jam nails that's uh that's how you get your jam nails out you see but also let's just show you this. this is the inside and that's the piston in there and you can push the piston down can i show you that see if we can get that camera camera in there about right so you can push the Push the piston down, like that, you see. Push it down, 
obviously clean that all out, clean that out with a bit of rag and everything, some cleaning fluid, and um, and also um, put some oil back in there. And then what you do is you get, you've pushed your piston down, and so this pit here, where is it? See, that's the bit that pushes your nail through, and you can push it, I'm doing, you can push that back up. You see, there we go, look at that. In we go, back up, and that piston then, that's come back up into place. So that's that. Right, now. So, right, put it back together. So put it basically, do the th same thing. The other thing that I need to show you, the other thing, there is a, um, in this cap, there is a filter that you, um, you should, there it is. Give it a soak with the old cleaning fluid and just wipe it off with a rag. I've already done that. So, um, yeah, how does that go? Oh, come on. So, yes, that goes back in there. Like so. Right, so we're gonna put the lid back on. Put the, we're gonna put this, put the, put the, the fan back in. So remember it's quarter of a, ah, the other thing, the other thing. If someone's been taking these guns apart, putting them back together. Hey, um, let me just show you this. Now, in underneath, you see, this is where the gas fits in there, you see? And this hole here is where it comes out. Ooh. Come on. There's a hole here somewhere. Where can, I, can I get that? Yeah, there. That hole there is where the gas comes out. And if you poke, you, if you poke some gas in there, you see? I don't know if you can see that, but you can actually make sure that that is clear. You see, and this Christ, stinks. So, so you can actually make sure that's clear. But the other thing is this bit here, this 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 plastic bit. You see, you can take that apart, take that apart, clean all that up, now and put it back together. You see. Now, what make sure, make sure, because this is what happened with this gun, is that that is so that the V. The V is to the top and not, not like that, because that actually looks the more obvious way because it lines up here, the, 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 it all lines up, you see? So don't do that because otherwise your gun, your gun will have the problem that I showed you. So, so there you go, so make sure that's like that. Right, so that's one problem. The other thing is the rings, remember the rings. So there we go, put it back in there. Give it half a turn so she lines up. Put your wires back on. So put your fan back on first. Come on, baby. You can do this. There we go. Then put your spark plug back on. The other trouble is with shooting the old, uh, the old pheasants is that... Um, Nobody likes to pluck pheasants these days. No, nobody likes to pluck pheasants. And um, I asked her, I asked Lady Fartville if she wanted to pluck after the last shoot, and she said, she said, no, she doesn't want to pluck. And please don't ask again, you see. So, so, um, so they don't like to pluck. But the other thing is, the, uh, when the, uh, the trouble is, we've got a lot of vegetarians come here shooting the pheasants, and of course they don't want to eat them, you see. So that's a good thing that, Lord Fartwell nails them back together, nails them back together with the old nail gun, and um, and so and the other thing is the vegans, the you know, the vegans are they vegan? Yeah, the vegans, they're a lot more humane when they come to Fartwell and shoot the pheasants because they bring their ray guns. You see, and when they shoot the uh, pheasant with a ray gun, it just it just disintegrates and doesn't know anything about it. So it's completely humane, and you and obviously it just disintegrates, and you don't. Don't need to bother with having to stick them back together again, which is rather marvellous. So, where are we? Yes. Sorry about that. Got a bit distracted there. So, put your put your lid back on. Put your put your nuts back in the holes. I right, put the nuts back on. Screw them up. There we go. That's back on. Top's back on. Clip the clip this back into place. There we go. Right, so we're gonna we've got it all fixed back together again. So we put some uh, put 
put the old ammunition in. Put the old ammunition in, there you go. And um, put the battery in, check that the battery's uh, okay. It's got a green light and let's see how it goes. Bang. Bang. Bang, right. Um, something else I'll show you. And it's working. The what happens is what happens is with this this thing here, this this little thing that holds the gas in, it actually pressurizes the gas. Um, when when you plunge it down, it pushes against the gas. So what you can do, you can get your if it's not working, your gun's not working, you can get your thumb and hand over the thing like, and you can push the gas into the into the actual unit to get it to fire so what you do let's just try this you push it down like so you push your finger gas in nothing's happening okay try that again push down pull up bang right push down gas in bang so if it works if it works when you're doing the old thumb, thumb thing and the old finger and this this floppy thing here, um, it's obviously this floppy thing here is worn. You see, this you've got to get a new one of these. So, and there's a, you know, obviously you can get away. Um, you can, you know, if you're in a bit spot of trouble and you've got to shoot a few pheasants, you can um, you can just do it with your fingers. You see, you see, just down, squeeze, bang. There you go. So there's a tip for you. So. Um, Hopefully we got the old nail gun thing sorted out today and um, the moral of that story is, what is the moral of this story, is um, if you're going to do a bit of banging, you've got to be prepared to do a bit of plucking as well. So, so cheers everybody and toodaloo for now.